Welcome, <laughs> sir! What is this? Hey, Miss Pally, I'm Allie. And generally, I want to make people feel special. And specifically, I want to make people feel special the moment they walk into my home. Feel about it on so Instagram obviously the way stories. to do that is to make them enter through a red carpet experience. So I'm going to make a glamorous step and repeat with velvet ropes and a red carpet, and as soon as you cross the threshold into my home, you're a star. By the way, if you don't know what a step and repeat is, it's that logoed background you see behind everyone at red carpet events. And they're actually really expensive, but I'm just gonna paint my apartment wall. And I'm gonna do it right behind my front door, so when you enter, it's like you're the lead actor in your own movie being celebrated at your own premiere that you didn't know you were attending. Obviously, the first stop is Home Depot. The place to come for glamour. Yep. Okay, how high do I want this? Hip height? That looks good. It's cool. You just ratchet right through it. Good thing I deadlift, I got all that grip strength. Just gotta do that three more times. Uh, it's nothing thick or red or velvet. But... Hmm, okay. Now I need some gold spray paint. Is it made of actual gold? I'm gonna need some help getting it out of there. Got it from the vault, thank you. And up until now, the base to hold this up was a big stressful question mark for me, but I think I just figured it out. Just gotta get all my supplies into my Graston Martin. Oh, which happens to have a car inside of my car. I found this toy police car being thrown out and I was like, ooh, I want to turn that into a cooler. Like how awesome would it be to roll up at a tailgate with a little cop car full of beer? So if you want to see that happen, subscribe and ring the bell for notifications because it might be coming up. Okay. I have been saving these protein buckets thinking I am going to do something with these or I'm an idiot. And it turns out I'm both. Ooh, that's a cool sound. I think I have a special guest star. Do you smell chocolate? You want the gator shake? There's a dog here. No, oh, don't leave! Come on, buddy. All right, well, this is what I get for filming in a well-ventilated area. Just taking some problem solving. <laughs> What's up, dog? He's back, I swear. He's just not been on camera yet. Her name's Maxie. Maxie, I think this is gonna do it. Uh, it's not gonna work. Okay. Thinking, I think we'll solve this as a five way fitting, which they didn't have at Home Depot, so I'm ordering online. Oh, is that? Oh. Here we go. Oh, this is what I needed. How did that? Was that editing? I Anyway, totally using pipes for their intended purpose. Okay. Oh, it worked! Now I still have the problem of attaching the protein tub to the bottom, which I think I can make it work by drilling holes in to add screws to anchor it. And I did make it work, and it looks like crap. Ugh. Just let my fail sit and stare at me while I continue to experiment with... What? Oh, this is different plastic. Wait. Oh, this brand is way better. Look, it's just, is this working? I don't, I didn't even glue this. That's dope! So it's gotta be a specific type of protein shake plastic, which, and for being specific, these are actually uh, gainer shakes, not protein, because I'm pretending to be a bodybuilder, but I only have three of this kind, you're dumb. So I'm down to only three stanchions, which is the official name for these poly things. I'm fine with it being three. Yes, I'm not fake bodybuilding enough because I should have had more of this. Okay, soldiers, time to unhookify you. Uh, not you. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, nice. Check out this lovely hook I got. Are you having a bad day, buddy? Sorry, you can't be a part of my project. Sweet! And these caps are looking great. Oh, like a tiny little Captain Hook. Arr. Okay, let's just get these on here. Woohoo! Perfect, perfect. Now, I feel like something's missing. Oh, they have to be gold. Found a different well-ventilated area, lest I risk paw prints on my gold plating. Ooh, elegant. I forgot to 
take the expensive price tag off. Let me just fix that. Gotta get your butt side too. So opulent. Really brings out the PVC logo. While that's drying, I gotta pick up some more luxurious material. Yes, darling. Now I don't really know what I'm doing. But I'm convinced a hot glue gun can make any dream come true. By the way, awesome occurrence, the guy that cut this rope for me wrote the skew down wrong and the woman checking me out was like, yeah, whatever. So I got free rope. How long do I want it to be? That looks like the perfect amount of drink. Ooh, definitely gonna need more glue for this. This is extremely satisfying and I hope it's happening for a reason. I think we got it. This looks great, except I wanted a red velvet rope, not a black nylon rope. Oh, okay. Don't know why velvet is such a luxury. This stuff feels like crap. Like, hey, wanna be coated in peach fuzz? <laughs> I'm red peach fuzzing all over my house. I'm just gonna shove this up inside. And again, hot glue will make my dreams come true. Ah, 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 ah. on fire. When I told my mom about this idea, well, actually first she was like, oh, a step and repeat, great. The world needs another one of those. Because I come across them all the time in LA. And when I do, I make a big stupid deal about it on Instagram stories. And then she said, how are you gonna sell the velvet? <laughs> and now. That's fine. Actually, that's really good. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Now I just gotta step and repeat it. All right. <laughs> Let's see how this looks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Yes. Oh, would you like to play my drums? I'm sorry. That area is VIP. Now it's time to paint the logos. I'm not gonna wing it. Obviously I want to execute my dumb ideas with the highest quality. Starting with my outrageous logo. What's up? Dope, right? And the shape of my step and repeat, not to scale. Looks like I can do three rows, so I'm stepping and repeating right now. I'm pretty sure that's why they're called step and repeat because the logo steps over and repeats. But I've also heard it's because celebrities step onto the carpet, you take photos, and then repeat with the next celebrity. Got that logo place, but I need something to go in between. My friends always come over here when we're pre-gaming before we go out, so I'm thinking maybe I need a pre-game logo. Oh, but it's so plain. And also I want people to feel important, right? That's what this is about. Pre-game VIP. Oh no, I'm still not feeling it because my parents are gonna come over here and they're not necessarily going to be drinking before going out. Maybe it's just VIP. Uh, that also looks really plain. Ooh, I have another logo, Fit Face. This logo, which you're probably not familiar with, I've been working on a book, kind of. I've been wanting to tell people how I stay lean and loaded. Basically, I'm writing out how I have a six pack and also drink six packs all the time, but it's taking a while because I'm too busy doing other stuff. You know, like upgrading my apartment. Anyway, let's try this one. Ooh, okay, now I've got three logos stepping and repeating. Yeah, I don't know. The Fit Face book thing isn't even close to done. I mean, unless you guys attack me about finishing it on this. I kind of don't want that in my house yet. And also it's really detailed. No, I'm taking that out. It's gonna be hard to paint. Okay, uh, I have another logo. This is my original one from my music. Here we go. When I designed this, I called it my A note. Get it? A note. Yeah, let's put that on. Ooh, I like. Except now I don't know how I feel about the blue and green and then the red. And the carpet's gonna be red. I want it to look like really slick, like not one of those cheap step and repeats that you see everywhere, but like a really good one at the Emmys or whatever. I think monochromatic is the way to go. But now what I'm worried about is that I envisioned this as a white step and repeat, but no. If we want slick, well, I gotta, I gotta make my wall really dark. Are you want black? Ooh, no, no. It needs to be a little, I want to see the black outlines on stuff. Yep, there we go. I think that's it. The only reason I'm hesitant is because now I gotta put a big gray block on my wall. The white felt like less intrusive. This is all intrusive. This is dumb. And I photoshopped a mock-up of just how dumb. This is kind of what it'll look like when I'm done. Yes, that is what I want in my house. I mean, in real life with the red carpet and then the stanchions and yeah. For sure. <laughs> Let's just go before I change my mind. Well, I knew I had white paint, but now I gotta get gray, so it's time to go back to Home Depot. Everyone that works there is like, oh, the weirdo's back again. Hey, twice in one day this time. Hmm, what do we need? Limousine leather, cracked pepper, dark secret. Paint names are always so innovative and mysterious. Ooh, black. Ah, uh, yes, not forgetting this this time. Mixing it up special just for me. What I asked for was celebrity gray, except whatever is cheapest, just like like a dark gray. Now it's time to engray in you, Wall. Ashton and Demi out of the way. Obviously, I'm risking a lot with my landlord because I'm painting the walls. You know, I keep everything else so pristine. Again, forgot to buy a drop cloth, so 
more risking. This is a pretty dramatic color. We are going for it. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, oh. <laughs> It's not ideal to have a deadbolt lock in the middle of your step and repeat, but hey, I gotta put this right here. That's the important part. Oh, it wants to goop on my wall for 30 seconds. I'm an adult. I'm just freehanding a perfect vertical line. You know, casual. Woohoo! I think I could already start on a second coat. Actually, it seems to be drying to more of a famous person gray than a celebrity gray, but that's fine. Ugh. I delicately edged around this ugly brown thing, but screw this. I'm just gonna make it an ugly gray thing. Well, that is very bold. Just gotta let this dry. I think it's already looking great. Now it's time for the logos. My wall's gonna look brand new. I printed these out because I want them very uniform and perfect proportions. I know I could freehand it, but like, not worth it. They're gonna be like a ton. Wait, how many do I have to actually paint? According to my mock-up, 15. Eee. Now to step and repeatedly trace these onto the wall. I don't have transfer paper, nor do I want to pay for transfer paper. So going back to being a meathead, but Olympic weightlifter this time, I have gym chalk, which uh, I think I can make this work. Let me just find a dead center with my trusty piece of that I'm still using. You need to agree with me here, people are watching. It'll be a chalk. It's just hard to do when it's big chunks. Come on. No, oh, it's upside down. Okay. Now again, I'm only guessing that this will work, which is basically every one of my Living Outrageous videos. I think that I can make things happen, and then we see if I can. Well, it's white, so I don't know if it's going on. It looks like I did nothing except ruin my carpet some more. But hopefully, I should be able to put this here and trace it on. Let's see, I'm gonna start with the dead center. Is there a line? On the other side it is! Yes, this is gonna work! Now all I have to do is trace every single line on this and then do that 14 more times. And now for the reveal. There we go! I got the perfect proportions to precision paint. Splendid. My perfectionism only took two hours. Shock and roll. Chuck, Chuck, who's there? Okay, I gotta go paint. Again, I find myself saying I hope this works. I'm just using acrylic, so we'll see. But look, there's still silver on here from when I painted my shoes for the There Rubber Your Glue music video. First stroke. Oh yeah, this is gonna be just fine. Except for the fact that it will take forever. It'll look really good. <laughs> now, I do a lot of music on my channel, and lots of people think I have a music degree, but actually, I have a bachelor's in fine arts. Ah, if only my old professors could see me now. Actually, they would probably say, you should start with dark and work your way up to light. But I got in this habit with my pop art where I start with light and work my way to dark because it means I have to wash my brush less. So being lazy, <laughs> efficient has worked out for me. Did I need to add this black in? No, does it look way better? Yes, is it worth all the extra time? Uh, I mean, I don't know, what am I even doing? There we go. See, I paint messing around. Based on that speed, I can do for an hour of the less complicated one. This is a commitment with one M. Oh, it's done. And again, this shadow below the O is not a necessary detail and will add a lot more time and I'm still doing it because it looks good. And I like good. Now I gotta get this thing done. The premiere is starting soon. This must be what Michelangelo felt like painting the Sistine Chapel. I mean, his was on the ceiling, my mind's a wall, but otherwise, this is precisely the same type of artwork. Ugh. Who designed these logos to be so complicated? Oh, I did. I had no idea this would be such a pain to... Just kidding, I'm actually really enjoying myself. Okay, I gotta wipe the chalk off. Some colors need some extra coats, and I did originally conceive this with a drop shadow on each of those. But do you need to see me put painstaking precision into an absurd idea? Of course not, which is why I did it off camera. Look, now they're super clean, and I use this watercolor technique to make it look like they're popping off the wall with that drop shadow. And the branded backdrop is done! Look, they're stepping, they're repeating. Now let's get those stanchions up. Yes, yes, yes. 
I'm very excited to see this all together. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Great. Hey, <laughs> where did you come from? Get out of there! Still missing something. You know, I should probably get the finest, cheapest red carpet bath mat that I can find online. Huh. Well, I thought about it, and then... Huh. There it is! Got a ceremony here. Roll this on out. Uh, yeah, well, that'll do. Now Max is on his way here for his red carpet celebration that he doesn't know is happening. But first I should try it out myself, right? Of course. Oh my goodness. What? This feels amazing. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Stop, you're too kind. Oh, this old thing? <laughs> yes, it was designed exclusively for me. No, that's not paint on my leg. Always air on the side of too formal, I always say. And I even feel glamorous when I look like garbage. I think he's here. The man of the hour. Welcome, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Congratulations on your premiere or uh, nomination. Oh, or, oh, oh uh, my god. I no, thought so. it wasn't on the list. <laughs> you look great. Oh, thanks. Wow. Thanks. Who are you wearing? Mm, this is actually a, it's actually a Spagnola original. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is at your house. Oh, my god. So, uh, who are you most excited to see at the show award uh, premiere? This is my premiere. Yes, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I mean, I'm, I'm the person, I'm the man of the hour, obviously, but I, <laughs> when is that not the case, am I right? I'd just like to thank all the little people for making this happen. Hey, hey, how's it going? Production studio, financiers, my sugar mama. It's just a pleasure to be here, I really appreciate it. Sorry about the interview going poorly. I'm very nervous <laughs> He's very famous. It's okay. First time, first time. <laughs> now everybody that comes into my home gets to feel special. That's really great. Is it? <laughs> it's it's something. <laughs> well, we've been pre-gaming for a second. And for an hour. Okay. Kelsey's here, and I'm very excited for it. Where's my microphone? Oh, hello, superstar. <laughs> Welcome to your premiere or nomination or whatever. Paparazzi's going nuts. Uh, you well, look. Let me put it right here so that everyone can keep their shoes Great. on without having to- She knows! This is why I'm excited. The red velvet robe is actually just to tell you this is where your shoes do not pass. Um, you look so good. Hold on, can I, did you not rehearse this? What? Ooh, she did. Pose. Pose. Choo-choo. choo Watch this on the live Who are you wearing? I am wearing Hanes, Carhartt, and Crushing! Yeah. No, you yeah. look you look fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. This is great. Thanks. Yeah, that was entirely too much work. Wow. So. That's really painted on here, huh? This is impressive. I will say that. Where did you find it? It's this? something. Well, I made them, so. Shut up. That's protein tubs, and those are PVC pipes. Can I and... take a question, though? Yes, of course. Thank you so much for coming to your own premiere. I hope that you feel special and appreciated. This is uh, the celebrity treatment, which is what I usually get in here, but uh, also the paparazzi has gone home at this point, yeah, so I don't know why. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> If you like seeing this outrageous decision become a reality, well, I've done a lot more stuff like this, so keep watching.